Hey, Pre-16 students, we're back in Canvas here, and we're looking now at how to, basically how to assign questions and pages for an assignment, either a homework, a quiz, or an exam that you're going to submit via Gradescope. So, and we're submitting everything in Gradescope. So let's say we want to submit uh, midterm number zero. You can either find that in the assignments, which is right there, or you can find it in the modules. Either way, it's the same thing. Oops, got to click on it though. So um, here's the video, by the way, that I'm making right now that you can watch right here, or if you're already watching it. Um, so, and here's the file that you're going to be using to upload for midterm So you want to download this in a convenient place, and then when you get to Gradescope, you're going to upload it to Gradescope. I've already downloaded it, so no worries. Um, let's go ahead and click on the load midterm number zero in Gradescope. And then you can see we're going, so you'll have the option to just upload the submission. When I do it, since I'm not a student, I have to pick one of you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick, let's go ahead and pick, I don't know, I can pick anyone, anyone. I'll pick Fiona Baxter. Um, and then we're going to select the file. Now you should only be able to select a PDF. Um, and if for some reason you can select something else, you should only select a PDF. So please, whenever you're uploading something to Gradescope, make sure it's a PDF. Um, and if you've done the things in Genius Scan or whatever the scanning app you're using, I've suggested and you know made it so it's scanning it in black and white or color, it should come out as a nice PDF anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and select our file. I'm going to, let's see, it's on the desktop. It's right there, great. And now we're going to upload it. So you have to select the file first and then upload it. And then it's going to process, it's going to come on through, and then we're going to have to do a few things. So this is so you could just submit it here. And if you try to submit it, it'll be like you don't you didn't match all your pages and questions. And if you do this, I will be very sad because it means I'm going to ask you to go do it. Actually, is what it really means. But it also means I can't let like when I actually try and grade your assignment, it says, Oh, your student doesn't have anything for this, and I have to go look for it. And it just takes so much more time. So please take the time to do this. If you don't, I will ask you to do it. Um, so we're going to go continue matching. And so we're going to try and put all of the questions that go on the front pages. And let's make sure we can see these pages a little bit better. Let me move this over a tiny bit. There's this little thing here, which makes the pages bigger or smaller. Great. Now the pages are bigger. I think we can see them a little better. Um, none of the questions go on page one, but questions 1A, 1B, and 1C, and 1D go on page two. So I'm going to put 1A on page one, two, 1B. So you can do it the long way just by clicking here and then clicking on the right page, clicking the question, clicking on the right page. But that can be time consuming. So instead, we're going to, and so I want to select a bunch of questions at once. So if I'm going to select a bunch of things at once, I don't want to put them on this page. So see that little check mark there? A check mark there means if I click any of these questions, or more than one of them, I should say, it will do something. So if I like press shift right now and try and select a bunch of things, it's gonna put them on that same page. I don't want that. Um, and I wish there was a nice way to undo that, but I think you actually have to go back and, and you can't just you can't just do it unfortunately. So um, maybe if I do shift again and select them, no, it doesn't work. I just have to click, I have to click off of them. And now I'm gonna press escape because that will unselect any page you selected. So here's how you do multiple things at once. You can either press shift first, select all the questions. I want question 2A and 2B on this page. I'm gonna do shift 2A, 2B and then put on there and then escape to deselect it. And then I'm gonna do shift and do click, 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 questions 2C, 2D, and 2E, and then click here to put them on there. Alternatively, you can select the page and then press shift and select the questions. So I've got the page selected and I'm gonna do shift 3A, 3B, and 3C. So 3A, 3B, and 3C while holding shift. And then I'm gonna escape to deselect that page. I don't prefer to do it that way, I like to, do the problems first. So I'm gonna do 3D and 3E and put it on this page while holding, so I was holding shift while I did that, but you can do the page first or the problems first. So I'm gonna do again, to get 4A and 4B, I'm gonna do shift, click, click, and then put it on the page, escape. And then you do five and six, I'm gonna do shift, click, click, and then put it on the page. Um, or, and then press escape. Um, something else I wanted to say was that right, either way is fine. Make sure you've got all the questions assigned. So then we're going to go to submit and notice they say we have a problem. It's not really a problem. They say page one doesn't have any associated questions. So we can continue matching. 
So let's go to, oh, but page one shouldn't have any questions on it. So we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit the assignment as is, excellent. So great, now I've done it, assignment submitted, pages and questions are, or questions and pages are appropriately assigned. Um, and then I think you can even, I don't think I have the option right now, but if you feel like you did something incorrectly, you can reassign or resubmit pages. Um, but I feel like that's not super an option for me at the moment. So yeah, I think there's a way for me to do it, but it's kind of like a pain. Um, if I do this and do this, oh yeah, I can see so if, if you do go back to your submission, you can reselect pages. And that will give you the option to do it again. Anyway, we don't want to do that. So that is how you assign questions and pages. Please be sure to do it whenever you are submitting anything through Gradescope.